Can building your own handheld gaming unit teach you something? Is it good for STEM learning? Let's find out. Greetings, Retro Zoltan here. For your viewing pleasure, I'll be taking a good look at the Circuit Mess Nibble, a do-it-yourself gaming handheld. Before I start, I wanted to clarify that the company Circuit Mess sent me this to look at, but by no means I'll be dishonest in my review. And for immediate full transparency here, I embarrassingly started to look at this thing and realized it looked very familiar. A few minutes later, after digging through my closet, I found, well, that I had gotten this for myself a few years ago. It all came back to me where I was intending on building this and reviewing it, and, well, as you can see, I didn't get very far. Now I have two. It's a sign of my procrastination, but yes, also, it's a sign that I'll be giving the sealed one away. So stick around, and I'll give you the details at the end of this video. So before I officially dissect the nibble. Let me get into what the company Circuit Mess is all about. Digging deep, I found out that Circuit Mess was started by a guy named Albert. And I apologize for possibly demolishing your last name, Albert Gadjesk. Albert Gajsik. This guy started the company with the goal of creating educational do-it-yourself electronic kits that make learning about technology and programming fun for everyone. And from what I'm seeing since the original Kickstarter, Circuit Mess has been doing just that. I'm kind of blown away at what Circuit Mess has created as far as do-it-yourself kits kids are concerned. There's like a phone, a ton of robots, a digital pet, and some sort of AI robot that you can make. And even the most recent creation, which is a Batmobile that you can build and program to be used manually like an RC car, or to be autonomous in what, like you can seriously make this thing dance? So with a company like Circuit Mess behind something like the Nibble, I wasn't too worried with what I was going to find here. So let's begin. The Nibble, as I'm told, is one of Circuit Mess's best sellers. Its predecessor in 2017 being the Maker Buino, which I kind of wish I had also. But beggars can't be choosers, and the Nibble is a new improved version, so I should just slow my roll here. The Nibble comes in a kit with everything you need, stating it's for ages 9+. plus. I don't think any kid would be too disappointed if they got one of these. And what parent would be upset with their kid building something like this? Opening the box shows more confirmation that this is a STEM project, complete with the motivational You Can Do It, which says a lot about Circuit Mess's goals here. You can do it! They're always inspiring the builder, saying things like, you did it, good job, and things like that. Also, inside are all the parts you need. Full inventory is a main circuit board, acrylic casing, battery holder with batteries, an LCD display, a micro USB cable, and a small bag of components you'll need to put all this together. Also included is a full soldering iron with a stand, a dehydrated sponge, solder, and a screwdriver for your tool arsenal. Full confession here, the entire reason why this particular box was open in my closet was that I borrowed the soldering iron for another project. Once you're at this moment with a full inventory, it's time to get started. And Circuit Mess includes a booklet to help you get building, telling you right away what you will learn. When you build a nibble, it boasts it will teach you how to solder, how game controls work, how to use circuit blocks, C++, and Python coding the basics of game graphics, and how to build a microcomputer, and how to make your own games. I'm guessing there are more lessons like patience learned here after a project like this, but I like the warning. The website that the manuals eventually refer you to holds instructions on how to build everything, complete with printable PDFs if that's your thing. Not sure why I can't find a nibble video off the build guide page, but there are a few official Circuit Mess videos on YouTube. I'll provide a link just in case. After some time and patience, and possibly a catchy montage, you can have this thing built in just a few hours. I'm going to use a bit of lame magic here and just skip to the finished product. Overall though, you're soldering on various components to the main circuit board, including the LCD display, several buttons, a switch, and a few other things. It's just enough without it becoming too overwhelming. A lot of rinse and repeat as far as soldering the buttons, but it's a good practice. I can see this getting kids' minds churning as they're putting this together. The motivation to have this thing complete is huge, I'm sure. The finished product looks incredibly impressive, something to be proud of, honestly. Its form factor isn't too bad considering. The buttons on the front are very clicky, but a satisfying one if you're into that. I think it would have been more fun to have a D-pad instead of four separate buttons for directions, but what can I say? This is a DIY kit. I really like the clear acrylic casing here, showing off what's going on and what you did. The screen is a 128 by 128 LCD that boasts it can do 260,000 colors. The illusion that there are trigger buttons are just sort of loops you can connect a wrist strap to in case if your Game of Invaders gets out of hand. 
can. There's a reset button on the top, an on-off on the bottom, and a USB port we'll get into shortly. The back sports the battery pack, which you'll have to solder in place also, which will power the nibble with the included three AAA batteries. And that's about it. Without doing any programming or anything, the Nibble comes with four built-in games to reward you for doing a good job here. Invaders, which is an impressive squeezed-in port of Space Invaders, Bonk, an obvious Pong port, Space Rocks for your Asteroid fans, and Snake for those of you old enough to miss your Nokia phone. These games are pretty basic, but I can see kids getting bored of these quickly. I can already see someone asking if GTA 3 runs on this thing. No, no it can't. This is where you want to connect your Nibble to your computer using the the included USB cable and head to circuit blocks and start programming. And what is circuit blocks, you ask? Well, I've shown something similar to this before with a few other devices I've reviewed, but overall it's a beginner-friendly graphical interface that allows users to write and upload code to their devices without needing to write anything complex. It's a bit weird for me to use because I'm used to programming the other way around, but it's easy and addictive once you get started. And if you're more advanced, you can still enter your programs using C++. Which brings me to one criticism in that I think the editor needs a little work here. There's such a lost opportunity when they show both the visual code and C at the same time, but you cannot edit the code when you're doing the visual. In my efforts to be clever and mess with AI, I asked ChatGPT to make a quick program for me, which I quickly imported using the C++ editor, and the result complete failure. Which brings me back to the editor again. It really needs more work. There was an error in my code, but it wasn't telling me much, so I kind of was on my own to figure it out. It's about as forgiving as a normal compiler. I guess I was expecting a more detailed debugging experience. Giving up on that for now, I decided to go with one of the pre-made examples where I made a disappointing discovery. Loading a program, once the compiler is happy about it, takes over your device by wiping the flash and putting on MicroPython. Which is fine, but this means your original system, as it was, is now wiped clean. No more invaders and that sort of thing. Gone. Replaced with whatever program you're running. What's worse off is when you turn your nibble off and on again, it just sort of doesn't work anymore. While this happening is not for the faint of heart, your nibble can be brought back easily by choosing the restore firmware option and you're back to default. True talk here, this scared me also because my screen looks screwed up after I was done. Did I just break this? Oh, I killed it! After contacting CircuitMess, their helpful support showed me how to reset the screen drivers by pressing menu and reset and we're back in business. So if you have one of these and find yourself in the same boat, I say try it. Okay. Phew, I thought I cooked this thing. All is well and I can play Space Rocks again. I guess what bothers me about this whole process is you can't add extra games. You can only just replace it all with just one game or application. In a way, this reminds me of the original Arda Boy where you can just put one game on it and call it a day. And while I'm not happy about this, I have to remind myself this is for learning, not filling it with games like handhelds that I'm used to. Games and applications are going to have to be simple ones. So you're interested, yes? You want one of these things? Not so fast. The interesting thing about the Nibble is that Circuit Mess has a certain way of selling their product. You can't just go to their website and buy a few Nibbles for your kids. They're very proud of the subscription model that they have that will continue to send projects to your home. To get your hands on the Nibble, you'd have to sign up for the Stembox subscription that will send multiple kits to you. And eventually, you'll get the Nibble kit. Or, you can purchase the Gaming Bundle Pack where you'll get them all at once. Either way, it does make a hell of a present if you ask me. But if you're not a fan of subscriptions or bundles, Google can certainly find some loose inventory from some resellers. So overall, what do I think? As far as a kid, I'm in. I think it's great for anyone to build these. And after that, it's a bit lackluster for me. Is the Nibble acceptable for a STEM project? Will it teach kids anything? Without a doubt, it has been and will for as long as handheld games are a thing. I would have loved to have something like this as a kid. Hell, I love having one right now. And I can see how this will stimulate a kid's mind early to where years later they look back and say, this is where my interest in electronics started. This is where my love for robotics began. Circuit Mess gets that. And I have so much stuff to stimulate minds, I struggle to understand just how many products they have. They have a lot. And I don't think Albert and his crew are going to stop anytime soon. Before I forget, Circuit Mess also sent me one of their robots, which I believe is part of the Wacky Robot subscription that honestly would have been a gift from the heavens when I was younger. I'm going to build it quickly right now and let you know that these things are fun. So if you're into this sort of thing, or you think your kid would like it, then Circuit Mess is your place to be. Robot kits coming in the mail until I cancel? Yes, please. I'm so thankful Circuit Mess sent me the nibble, and this robot, and I'm thankful to you too. So, if you want to get your brand new nibble for free, 
I'll send it to you. I don't care where you live. Just click like on this video, subscribe if you're not subscribed already, and make a comment. Say anything you want. On April 10th, I'll announce the winner and have this officially shipped off to you, courtesy of myself and of course, Circuit Mess. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your support. And as always, I'll see you next time. Bye.